I started this martial arts journey over 30 years ago, learning, traveling, competing, training, fighting, teaching. And what we have here after 30 years of training in the martial arts is really the pinnacle of our third heaven martial arts system. I was preparing for my black belt in Japanese jiu-jitsu. I was studying judo. I had a black belt in taekwondo, uh, kung fu, and I was just absorbing as much information as I could about the martial arts as that I saw Hoist Gracie win the first Ultimate Fighting Championship. Um, and I said, you know, there's something to this jiu-jitsu and, and I need to learn this. So when I went on this kind of quest to learn Brazilian jiu-jitsu back in the early 90s, it was very different than it is right now in America. So in America, there wasn't really many people that we could learn jiu-jitsu from. Um, where I was at, we had a small group of people learning and we traveled all over the country and kind of came back and brought that knowledge back to each other and tried to learn as much as we could. Uh, we did have a couple of VHS tapes, but there wasn't the YouTube like there is now. Of, of course, there wasn't any video courses like the one I'm putting together for you guys right now. So it was a very challenging task to learn jiu-jitsu. And at that time, I never thought that um, someone like me could even make it all the way to like a third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And so um, to kind of look back at that journey, it's really been amazing. But what and the sad thing about Jiu Jitsu now is that there has been this evolution of Jiu Jitsu. And, and at first it was really cool and it was amazing to see the progression of Jiu Jitsu in this last like 20 to 30 years. But it, it has recently taken such a drastic shift into tournament style competition that I often am questioning myself, like, is jiu-jitsu even really practical anymore? Uh, when I first learned jiu-jitsu, we were really emulating what we saw in the UFC, what we saw in um, challenge matches. And I did a whole bunch of them. And I wouldn't recommend this for you guys that own martial arts studios, but back in the day, I kind of felt like to be a jiu-jitsu practitioner, to be a jiu-jitsu fighter, we had to accept and, and even maybe seek out challenge matches. So I, I fought every week challenge matches inside the, the gym and um, I learned a lot from those. Nowadays, I see higher belt levels, purple belts, brown belts, and, and I wonder how they would even do in a challenge match because, you know, the reality is, is the the system of jiu-jitsu has moved so much to the competition, the sports side, which is is cool. It's, it can be very beautiful, right? I, I like a lot of the moves, you know, the De La Hiva guard and the X guard and deep half guard, but but the upside down inverted De La Hiva guard to the X guard to the deep half guard is, is not going to help you when someone's on top of you, punching you and pounding on you. And, and possibly jiu-jitsu all over the world is almost being hurt by this massive explosion in, in competition only training. Um, the, the first thing is that the average person who just wants to get in shape, the person who, you know, maybe uh, there's a woman who's interested in jujitsu for women's self defense, or there's a guy who's looking for just self defense, and they walk into a jujitsu school, and the first thing they learn is how to transition from the half guard to the deep half guard to the X guard, and it doesn't really make sense to them. And they're not really learning true self-defense while they're learning some cool tournament techniques. Maybe these people have no interest in tournaments at all. And we're really doing a great disservice to them by just focusing so much on the tournament strategies of jiu-jitsu. I believe that my purpose as a martial arts instructor right now is to share my love and my passion for jiu-jitsu with other martial arts instructors and not the love and passion that I have for jiu-jitsu as it is right now, as it is right now how we see it in the world as a very sport, competitive, kind of point fighting martial art. But I want to share the love that I had for jiu-jitsu when I first started learning it, when I started to realize how effective it was, how practical it was, how functional jiu-jitsu can be, how anybody of any size and any skill level um, can learn jiu-jitsu. The purpose of the Third Heaven Martial Arts Association is to help martial arts school owners learn the true, pure martial art of jiu-jitsu.